Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've got some more 50Ps. These are in opened, bagged, rather than sealed, like we had last time round, where we had quite a bit of luck, actually. We had those three uh, platinum 50Ps and the cycling, the Olympic cycling one. Hopefully we'll get something just as good in this lot. Um, we're going to be looking for the usual... 2008 Britannia and the 2017 Shield, low mintage, and of course 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 21 when it comes to NIFCs. So let's just clear the decks and get stuck in, see what we've got today. All right, all thumbs as usual. Let's have a look. Right. As you can tell, I'm still bunged, so uh, apologies for all the extra sniffing. It's starting to work its way out of the system, but man flu likes to hang around and be a pain. Let's see. Nothing so far. This isn't boding well. Not compared to last time. Zero, zero, scratch. Yep. Dead bag. Yeah, this uh, little lot I had to get from the bank only to find out that uh, my branch is closing down, which means the next nearest branch will be a 14-mile round trip. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but that's not until January, February next year, so... Got a bit of time to get a few more bags in from them in the meantime. We got, uh, as of yesterday, when you watch this, today is release day is uh, the Tuesday. Yesterday being the 18th of March was the release day of the new, or I should say the first of the new series of Star Wars coins where they're doing vehicles and that was the Millennium Falcon so that's on order so hopefully that will come through in the next week or three and uh, I'm hopefully by now by the time you're watching this I've received my Buckingham Palace five pound coin as well that got his own individual release recently so, assuming that arrives, that will be a potential video in the very near future, hopefully. Oh, nothing on that one either. This is not good. But there is a new James Bond £5 coin coming out, I believe, on the 25th of March. That's supposed to cover uh, the 1990s. So that'll be the fourth one in the set so far. So it'll be interesting to see which film they use for that. So far, this is not looking good. But we know open bags are never very good anyway. You'd hope to see at least one thing, wouldn't you? Right, last bag. Yeah, I've got a few other coins that I'm waiting on to come through as well. Um, hoping that they're going to be potential for a video down the line as well. One particular set I'm still waiting on is um, a jersey set. Uh, Patron Saints. So that would be an interesting one. It would be something slightly different as well to the norm. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for those, and for a miracle to happen here, um, take a quick look back through recent uploads of mine. Um, I've done a few um, history of, a couple of history of type videos. One was the Florin a couple of weeks ago, and that's... Uh, proven quite popular and I uploaded another one the other day and that was for the half crown um, 
So I've got details of half crowns or images, bit of info dating back to 1816 through to 1967. So they're worth a look. So absolutely nothing of any significance jumped out at me going through that. So give me a couple of minutes. I'll go through these. And I'll check for any key dates and I'll get back to you. And we're back. Well, I've gone through all of those and all we had was a 2008 Britannia. Better than a kick in the teeth, but I think I would have preferred something even like a bog standard Benjamin Bunny for once. I haven't seen one of them in quite a while now. So that's all we've got for this week. Hold tight. Maybe we've got something better for next. Who knows? But in the meantime, take care. Cheers all.